There are more than 6,000 SpaceX satellites floating in space. Mm. The company started regular launches about five years ago. Each of the artificial satellites has a lifespan of about that same amount of time, though, five years. So what happens when a satellite's time in space is up? There are two options. It either falls out of orbit and burns up in the atmosphere or is sent farther away from Earth. That second object ob option is creating an incredible amount of orbital debris or space junk. In fact, a, a space law expert says that space junk is really causing a host of problems. It's starting to get crowded up there. And the problem is, is as it gets more and more crowded, you know, it's easy to avoid the big pieces, but the big pieces hit each other and they make small pieces. And it's very difficult to avoid the small pieces, which are circling the Earth at 17,000 miles per hour. Uh, that is faster than a speeding bullet. And so if one of those pieces of debris hits your very expensive satellite or spacecraft, um, it's going to do tremendous damage. Now, space junk is considered anything that is a quarter of an inch or larger and includes things as large as a satellite and as small as just even just a fleck of paint. The European Space Agency estimates there are more than 129 million objects in orbit. Earth's gravitational pull slowly always brings these space objects towards the Earth. The sky is not falling. We're not going to get hit with debris every time we go outside. There's not going to be like early warning systems, debris coming, debris coming. But this is something that we're going to have to start dealing with um, on a more regular basis. One of the largest concerns about space junk, Russia and China have been testing ground to space missiles, blowing up their own satellites, which then creates large debris fields.